One key component of e-commerce is communication with your customers, especially email communication regarding their orders. We can manage our email notifications at Settings and Mail. Here you see we have a number of different types of notifications that our customers can receive. Let's take a look at these. First, we have order confirmation, which is simply the email that a customer receives after placing an order. It just lets them know that we did get their order and it's being processed. Order status changed refers to things such as changing from awaiting payment to paid, etc. Order shipped is pretty self-explanatory. Order is ready for pickup is used for orders that customers can place that they're going to pick up at our store. Download eGoods refers to orders that are placed for digital goods. So when those are ready for download, they'll receive an email. And finally, abandoned cart recovery, which isn't so much a notification as it is a reminder that we talked about earlier in this tutorial, where customers will receive an email saying, hey, you left a cart unordered. Did you mean to do that? Do you have any questions? If you want to come back and order these items, just go back to your cart and they're all ready for you. Notice over here we have a few options. First off, we can disable any of these. And likewise, we can re-enable them if we ever want to. So if we decide that, for instance, we don't think it's necessary for our customers in our particular circumstance to receive an order status changed notification, we simply click this button and they won't get those anymore. Now here, we can also preview emails which simply shows us what the email will look like to the customer. And we can also send a test email, which will send an email to the administrator account or whatever account is set up to receive notifications regarding our store, just so that we can see the same type of preview, but in the context of an actual email inbox. We can also outright edit these emails, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in the next video. If we scroll past customer notifications, we also have admin notifications. These are emails that we will receive on our store's administrative account. And these can be set for new orders placed, which is anytime a customer places an order, we'll get a notification about that, and low stock notification. Both of these are extremely helpful. New order placed can start to crowd your inbox if you're running a particularly large store with a lot of customers. So that may be one that you want to disable given your situation. Low stock notification, you'll usually want to keep on so that you'll know when your stock gets low on a certain item. And then past the notifications, we also have mail settings. Mail settings simply relates to the from name and address that customers will see when they receive emails from our store as well as the email address that we want admin notifications sent to. So for instance, if we wanted to change anything about this, we would click this change button. And we can change the from name or the from email address. So if we wanted to, we could say Rob at Magic City Desserts to make it a little bit more personable. Obviously we can change the email if we want to. You'd want to make sure that that's a valid email that you're using here. And then down here, once again, send admin notifications to. This is the email that will receive new order place notifications and low stock notifications. Click save if you want to make any changes there. And then we have a few other options. Receive a copy of all customer notifications. In other words, whenever a customer receives one of these notification emails, if we have this option enabled, our admin account will also receive a copy of that same email. This is another situation where it can be very helpful, particularly if you have a small to medium sized store. But if you're running a large store with a lot of transactions, this can quickly, quickly clutter your inbox. So you may want to disable this. And then we have the option to show the powered by Equid notice in the bottom of email notifications. A good reason to keep this enabled is to show customers what platform you're using in order to build trust so that customers know that this isn't built on a possibly non-secure platform that maybe a junior developer threw together or something like that. But you do have 
the option to disable it if you want to. I'm going to leave mine enabled. And then finally, we can upload a logo for our email notifications. This is typically pretty important. Logos do a few things. They catch the recipient's eye when they're viewing the email. Also, when they're viewing the email, it gives them instant visual recognition of where and who the email came from. And it also helps to establish your store branding. So I'm going to click Upload Logo, add my store's logo. And then if we scroll back up to the top and check out the preview for any of our notification emails, we see that our logo has been added to the emails. So as you can see, we have quite a bit of flexibility as to the types of notifications that we and our customers can receive regarding our store. So you just want to go through, think about this, and choose the options that are right for you.